Hi all, this is Alan with Bothwell STEM Coach and today we are doing the 2005 AP Calculus uh, free response questions and so let us get started. I actually don't have my graphing calculator open which I'll fix right now um, for use uh, on this problem. So let's start with number one here. So let f and g be the functions given by f of x is equal to 1 fourth sine pi x so here's f of x here, and g of x is equal to 4 to the negative x. Let r be the shaded region in the first quadrant enclosed by the y-axis and the graphs of f and g. And let s be the shaded region in the first quadrant enclosed by the graphs of f and g and shown in the figure above. Find the area of, of r, and find the area of s, and find the volume. Okay, so I need to find the intersection point first, because basically the area of r, the way I can find the area of r is I can integrate over some bound regions of um, g of x minus f of x dx. Okay, actually don't like the size of that. Let me see. Guess I can't. Uh, shrink that down. Anyway, so if I want this area, but I, I need to know what the bounds are. I have the functions. I need to know what the bounds are. So let's do, um, let's graph these. So um, f, I'm going to say, is 1 fourth plus sine of uh, pi x. And then the second one is 4 raised to the power of negative x. Okay. So we're going to graph these. And I'm going to window this maybe between, I don't know, we'll say, definitely want to start at zero. Say we'll go to like, I don't know, five. And then why don't we go from zero to say, what, sine can't be more than like 1.25, right? That's the max that it would be. And then the scale, we'll say, is 0.2. X is still, like, way too much. Uh, let me window it some more. Make that 1. Is 1 too close? Oh, that looks pretty good. Let me see. Oh, that's pretty good. Almost perfect. I'm going to be a little uh, picky about this. Make this 1.25. Okay. I know I'm spending way too much time finding the intersection, but uh, it's nice to have a good little uh, setup on your calculator so you can you kind of see what you're doing. So it looks pretty close to what we got here. And I want to calculate um, the intersection of the two. Right, we're going to do that curve to that curve, and I'm going to guess, well, I want to find the one, this intersection over here to the left. I'm technically going to want to find both intersections, probably. Um, so this intersection is x equals uh, 0.17822. We'll do five decimal places. And then we'll calculate the other intersection. This time the guess needs to be further to the right. Let's see, this will give me x equals uh, 1. Oh, that should have been easy. Intersection 1 would have been uh, 0.25 sine of pi 0. Yep, yeah, okay, x equals 1. Okay, so this region needs to be 0, x equals 0, all the way up to 0.17822 of this integral. And so you can do that, um, you can either do that calculating on here, or you can do it like I've done it before. So if we do this integral, the lower limit I'm going to say is 0. The upper limit I'm going to type 0 0.17822. Oh, you see, oh, but they just did that one. Oh, okay. So never mind. I, I don't think you can, you can do it quite like that. Uh, on the graph, unless I uh, graphed the difference of them. So let's just um, go ahead and calculate uh, the integral. Um, 
0.25 plus sine. Pi, oh, which one am I doing? Well, actually, it doesn't matter which one I subtract one. Because if I get a negative value, I just switch it to the positive. Um, minus 4 to the negative x. Um, I'm integrating over x. And I'm going from 0 to 0.17822. So you see, uh, even though I got negative because I subtract in the wrong order, I should have done g minus f and I did f minus g, but that's fine. You just change the sign, so I'll just pay 0 0.06475. Okay. So for b, we're just going to do the area of s. So we're going to go from 0.17822 all the way to 1, and in this case, we're going to do f of x minus g of x. And you see, I can just re-enter this in, and all I have to do is really just change the bounds. So I'm going to go from 0.17822 all the way to 1. And that's 0.14104. Okay, find the volume of the solid generated when S is revolved about the horizontal line Y equals negative 1. So when Y equals, say, negative 1 over here, Oh, y equals negative 1. What am I doing? That was x equals negative 1. Negative 1 is like down over here. Okay? So we're going to do about uh, the s around y equals negative 1. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to think about a representative rectangle. And I'm integrating over the x direction. That's why I'm making these, these sort of rectangles here. And when it revolves around the y axis, Right, it makes a little disc. If that makes sense. Like this, this little rectangle is going to sweep out a disc area. Now, the volume of such a disc is the is the thickness of the disc times the area of the disc. And the area of the disc is pi is the area of the big circle minus the area of the little circle. So we do pi r squared minus pi little r squared. Um, big R is the distance from this, the axis all the way up to, say, uh, f of x. So um, f of x is the distance to the x-axis. So f of x plus 1, i got to add in this one distance, right? So this becomes pi times f of x plus 1 squared minus pi times uh, by similar token, the distance to the lower one is g of x, but g of x is just the it would give you the y value, which is the distance from the the x-axis. If I want to do um, y equals negative one, uh, I got to add one to it. So this is g of x plus one squared, and then I would want to integrate over the whole region 0.17822 all the way to one. Okay, so we're gonna do an integral. And we're going to do all of this. So I can factor out the pi. And I'm going to do f of x plus 1 squared. So I'm going to do f of x, which is 0.2, or let's see, 1 divided by 4 plus sine pi x. Uh, plus 1, all of that squared, minus g of x, which is 4 to the negative x. plus 1 squared, close parentheses. Then I'm going to integrate over x, and I'm going to integrate from the range 0.17822 all the way up to 1. This area ends up equaling 4 volume, equal end up 4.5588. OK, so let's take a look at our answers now. Um, 0.064, yeah, or 0 0.065, 0 0.41, 0 0.41, and then 4.558 or 4.559. Okay, cool. So, uh, hope you found that helpful. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.